Hi everyone, welcome back to Kettlehaven Ranch. I'm Steve. Today we're in the wood shop. One of our dogs took out some aggression on one of our foot jacks and uh, got to make a new one. For this project, we're going to make a new version of the boot jack, more refined, a little bit better curves, designed to fit more boots comfortably. I'm using a one inch by six inch by 16 inch long piece of pine. It's a piece of scrap wood. We're gonna put this in the CNC machine, see how the tool pass worked out, and um, thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. That's coming up. I'll move over to the CNC, and we'll get set up and go. Now we have the workpiece mounted to the Shipoko 3XL CNC router deck, and I have a quarter inch end mill bit installed already zeroed out on the XYZs, so the computer knows exactly how the piece of wood is mounted on it. And now we're ready for the first cut, which is a dado. This is where the lever point on the boot jack that will go down to the floor uh, will be attached to. We'll go ahead and cut that. Here we go. And the dado cut is complete. Now I have to make some adjustments here and we'll do the back signature. Now I've installed the 60 degree quarter inch V carved bit and I'm ready to run the signature on the back side. You guys should always put a signature on the back of your workpiece or somewhere out of the way so that people know what you've made. You should be proud of it. So here we go with the signature. And that completes that cut, but it just barely scratched the surface. And I can tell why. Uh, we have a little bit of lift here, a little bit of cupping in the board. Uh, remember, this is a scrap piece. So what I'm gonna do is go back into my design program, and I'm gonna make the depth just a little bit deeper, and we'll reload it and run it again. Well, off camera, I went into my design program, which is the Vectrex VCarb Pro, and went ahead and changed the starting depth of this cut to make it just a little bit deeper. So it's going to start at two one hundredths of an inch deeper than the surface of the wood to make this cut. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, that looks much better. Uh, I'm glad I made that adjustment. Not too deep, but just deep enough. The next cut we're gonna do is an outline of the final shape of the boot jack. And we're gonna use the same bit, the 60 degree V carve, carving bit. We're gonna use that to cut a chamfer around on the edge. So on our final cut, when we cut out the piece, we just don't have square corners. I'll load up and here we go. So now what I'll do is I'll flip the piece over, recalibrate everything, set it all back up to the XYZ zero, and we'll go ahead and do the same cut. Plus I'm gonna do some artwork. What I'm planning on doing is a simple graphic logo for Kettlehaven Ranch on the other side which I will later fill in with epoxy and then sand it smooth. Should look pretty good. Let's flip this piece over and get the new tool pass started. Now the workpiece is flipped. 
I have a new bit in. We're back to the 60 degree quarter inch v carve bit. And we're gonna go ahead and cut out the logo for this piece. Okay, I just paused the cut in the video and I'm going to readjust the camera so that you guys can actually see what's going on. This is sort of a bad angle. And through the magic of modern videography editing, we are ready to go again with a different point of view. And that completes the logo cut. Uh, part two of this video, we will have the epoxy fill in sanding and finishing of that and finishing of the piece. Should be uh, interesting to see how it turns out. But for this, we're gonna go ahead and do the same as we did on the bottom side and put the chamfer cut. Now I can go ahead and replace the v carb bit with a quarter inch end mill. If you like the content on our channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, and ring the notification bell for future videos. Like I said before, part two, we're gonna be finishing this piece and putting in the epoxy fill and sanding that. That should be really exciting coming up. And uh, for now, we're gonna do our final cut. But before I do the final cut, I want to note that the tabs, we do tabs just like with your old plastic models, you had tabs holding the pieces together. The same thing is going to happen here when I cut, but instead of doing it off the bottom of the workpiece, I've had to move the tabs up because we've already done a chamfer at the other side, on the other side of the project. So if I did it the normal way, the default setting, there would be no wood there to hold the piece and the piece would flop around and be ruined. So I went ahead in my design program and changed it to make them taller, half inch tall instead of a quarter inch tall, so that it'd be up where there is still wood from the outside of the frame of the workpiece to the actual um, product that we're cutting so that they have contact and it won't come loose. Let's finish this cut. And there we go. Thanks for joining me today. Part one, just cutting it out and doing the graphics. Now what we'll do is uh, dismount it and do the epoxy fill and sanding and finishing. And plus I have to put in the stand on the bottom of the jack. Uh, that'll be coming up in part two of this video series. Everyone, I hope you're staying safe and healthy. And it is Christmas Eve Eve when this is recorded. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, take care.